Well, good afternoon, my friends. We are here today to learn a filling stitch for our Hardanger embroidery. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the wrapped bars with dub side. So, um, this can be, this is, I'm making this one because I used it in the sampler that I designed for people on my channel. However, this will be available for anyone who wants to know how to do this stitch. So it is wrapped bars with dub size. Now, I did not put, just for ease of getting this going and getting these stitches up, I did not put the um, satin stitches around the outside. I'm just going to demonstrate the actual stitch itself. For this particular block, you would need 21 satin stitches on all four sides. Okay. That will give you eight threads that get cut away, four threads that will remain, and eight threads that will get cut away. And that will be the same on each side. Eight, four, eight, eight, four, eight. So that you are left with a plus sign and four open areas. So 21 satin stitches or whichever, whatever um, you can do just a row of straight up over four thread satin stitches. You can do one that is a little more decorative, whatever your pattern wants to call for. For this particular piece, I'm doing 21, which is eight four, eight. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, and I'm just going to put a little away stitch here to start my thread. Uh, a little tacking stitch a bit away to start my thread to show you how to do this. Okay, since I don't have any blocks to anchor it into. Okay, so I'm just going to tack a stitch here so that it won't pull out. All right. So what we are going to do is come up in the center. We're going to split these threads and we are going to wrap just two. Now we're not going to needle weave. We're not going to do that figure eight thing. We are just going to wrap them. Okay. The easiest thing I found is first you pull away and then you pull back because what you want is your stitches to lay side by side. Okay, so first we're going to pull a little bit away and then we're going to pull back and scooch that stitch in place. You can always tap, tap, tap it with your needle if need be. That's the easiest way I have found to get the stitches to lay the way they should. Sorry, my hand is a little bit in your way. Let's do it again. Pull away. Let me pull it back with this hand so you can see. And then pull it back. See how they're laying right aside of each other. Okay. So, pull away and then slide it back. Take your needle and bring it all the way if you have to. That's good. So we're just going to continue wrapping till we get to the end of this bar. Now, how many wraps you put depends on A, the size of your count of your fabric, B, the size of thread that you're using. My fabric happens to be 28 count. I think, no, I think it's 25 count. To be truthful, I'm not really sure, but I think it's 25 count. And the thread I'm using is a size 12. Okay. So we're going to continue to wrap. Let's see, we probably want to pull, we didn't, I didn't quite pull that one away in time, so we're going to just 
scooch that up a little bit with our needle. Pull away and then pull back. Gets a little harder when you get close to the end. Okay. Use your needle when you need to. Pull back. I think we can get one more in there. You notice I have my finger underneath and that's pushing up on the threads in order to get things to go correctly. Now, once we have one side wrapped, we're going to want to wrap the next one. So we're going to wrap down here. Oh, I pierced that, we don't want to go there. So our next wrapping is going to occur on this bar. Now, it's a little hard for me to do on a stand, but I'm going to try and flip you around a little bit. Let's see if I can bring this up a little bit more. Okay, and, and still my be okay, Let me do this a little bit. This is a scrap piece of fabric that I started something on and decided not to stitch it, at least not in those colors. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to, and if you haven't figured it out already, Hardanger Embroidery is an embroidery where you are manipulating your fabric to different positions all the time. At least I am. Pull it away and pull back. I think I pierced my, uh, I did, I pierced my, oh, there. Okay, go again. Get it here so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, pull it away and then pull back. And this bar we are going to wrap halfway. Just like when you did a dove's eye on woven bars. Okay, I'm going to pull it away and then pull back. Use your needle to scooch it when you have to so that you get them nice and lined up. Okay, pull it away and then pull back. And I'm going to do one more. Pull it away. And then pull back. Okay. Now, if you notice, that's way better. Okay. My thread is going to be, when I go to wrap my thread, I need to see this a bit better. My thread is going to come up on top. Okay, see that? On top. And I'm going to put my first dove's eye in. Up over. Go to your completed bar first. And then you are going to come up over your working. Okay. I have to turn it this way again because this is just an awkward angle for me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, now that's my wrap. I'm going to lay it across. I'm going to go under this bar and come up on top of my working thread. Okay, and try and keep that in the middle. All right, now going to go down into this set of satin stitches somewhere close to the middle and I'm going to come up oops on top of 
the working thread. So you see how I get that little twist every time. So move this over just a little bit to the center. There we go. Next one, lay it across. Come up on top of the working thread. There we go. So much better. So much better. Okay. And now we're going to go underneath the first one. And that is going to complete our dove side. See that? Oh, I have a cat here. And now we are going to continue. Remy, you're going to put a hole in my pond. So we're going to continue wrapping this part. We're just going to use our needle to push those stitches up when we have to. Wrapping is not my favorite thing to do. I will be the first to admit that. Now, if you so desire, there's no reason you couldn't needle weave just the two, two uh, fabric threads instead of wrapping around like this. I have done that in the past. Okay, so once this bar is full, we'll put one more on it just for good measure. Once this bar is full, we want to get two the next one so i'm going to come down and i'm going to go under this one like this so i'm going to make like i'm going to wrap this one one more time but yet i'm going to move over to this next bar and then i'm going to do the same thing okay and I'm going to wrap this one just the same way as I wrapped the other ones. Pull, pull up and then back. See, this is, this is, for me, this is fiddly, but I have to be honest. But you need to know in case you choose to do it, how to wrap the bars instead of doing the figure eight needle weaving. So I'm going to try and do this without changing the direction of my fabric again, see if I can do it better that way. And you want to wrap these, you know, not not too tight, but just just enough, just enough. In my shakiness. Okay, now I'm going to move to here and I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the other side. I'm going to wrap AF. It's a little hard to do without my big hands getting in your <laughs> in the way but I think you're getting I hope you're getting the idea 
So you're going to wrap half. Let's just do, let's just do one more and then call that half. Okay. Now we're going to put the dove's eye in just like we did the last time. And remember, you don't want to go over here. You want to go what you've already wrapped first. So you want to go behind the bar top of your working thread, put it about in the middle and you want to go down here into your satin stitches and put it about and over, over your the working thread thing. What did I do? Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Move this one down where it belongs again. <laughs> then we want to go over here. Working thread up this way. Over here. On top of the working thread so we get that right, that correct twist. We have that. Then we're going to go. This one. Now we're going to continue to wrap again. Okay. And you're going to complete, you're going to finish that bar. You're going to move here. You're going to do this corner. You're going to I did something wrong here again. We go under here. There we go. I'm over it. You should have went. I should have went under it. There we go. And then we're going to just continue wrapping. Okay. So you're going to do all four sections the same way. Put something white underneath here. There you go. All four sections. This that's not very good. All four sections the same way. You just wrap your bars. When you get to the second one, go half, put your dub's eye in, keep going. Move to the next one, fill this one, do half of this one, put your dub's eye in, keep going, and end your thread. So that is how you do wrapped bars with dub's eyes. I'm not going to have you watch paint dry while I do the other two because they're all done the same way. So start with whichever one you want, finish it, move to the next and just move around the four until you have them all done. So that my friends is wrapped bars with dove size. I will see you the next time. <laughs>